Family discipleship can seem really vague and broad and overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. So one of the things we wanted to do is come up with a common framework for our families as they are thinking and planning for family discipleship. Of course, there isn't a one size fits all, so we think this framework just provides a basic structure for you to organize and arrange your own family discipleship efforts. So parents, you can have discipleship success by filling these three buckets with their kids. The first one is time, the second one moments, the third one milestones. And we really believe that it takes filling all three buckets on a regular basis to keep your child on a healthy growing road of discovering Jesus. Now let's talk about each of those three buckets specifically. The first bucket we fill is family discipleship time. And these are really just carved out times that you as a family are getting together to talk about the things of the Lord. So these are times that you schedule regularly to read the Bible together, to have a devotional together, or even pray together. And it could be a weekly dinner where you sit down and play Bible trivia together or watch a Bible movie and talk about it after. And so filling the discipleship time bucket is something that you schedule to do regularly to intentionally help your kids grow in the Lord. The second bucket is family discipleship moments. And this is all about leveraging those random moments that present themselves in any given day and using it as a conversation about the Bible, the gospel of Jesus, or just Christian living. So something happens and you can use it as a teaching moment to tell them about the goodness of God or the forgiveness of Jesus or how Jesus handled something similar or how scripture uh, speaks to this. It's leveraging everyday moments that come our way to talk to them about the things of God. So filling this bucket is about being aware and intentional about looking for the many ways to bring in conversations about spiritual principles. So family discipleship moments are unplanned and they come unexpectedly, but because you're paying attention and being intentional, you capture that moment and you get to point them to Jesus through it. And the last bucket we fill is family discipleship milestones. And these are just really special events that you as a parent are marking to celebrate significant spiritual milestones in your family. So these are things that are like birthdays, anniversaries, getting their driver's license, a graduation, a new job, and you plan a way to point them back to the faithfulness of the Lord. And so perhaps you buy them a memento that speaks to God's faithfulness in their life, or you give them a scripture to remember that have a, or help them remember this milestone in this time. And, or maybe buy them a Bible and you write that date of that milestone in it. And so sometimes we're just gonna mark a milestone that's already happening naturally in their life. Or other times we're gonna make a milestone for them. So we're gonna take them on a special date when we have something special to talk to them about or something important. Or we have a conversation with them, you know, transitioning from childhood to adolescence or talking about purity or dating or just their identity and who they are in the Lord. And so each of these can be a milestone moment where we fill that bucket spiritually for them. And then we disciple them through that. So that's it. Three buckets that we can intentionally and consistently begin to fill to disciple and train our kids in the Lord. First one is time, second one is moments, and third is milestone. And then it's also too important to remember that while you're discipling your kids, it's so important that you as parents, we model what it looks like to live life fully surrendered to the Lord. Sure, we won't always get it right, we won't be perfect, but our kids need to see what being a fully devoted follower of Jesus looks like, and their greatest role model is you. 